The next step in living an extraordinary life is love who you are and never compare yourself with someone else. A few years ago, I was invited to a very prestigious lunch at Stanford University. It was to honor a very distinguished artist. How do I know he's distinguished? Because his title was that long. The, <laughs> the most honorable world laureate maitre artist of Rocktacle. He is a recipient of the Leonardo da Vinci Diamond Award. I understand it's one of the highest awards an artist receives. And also I heard that some of his work was appraised a million dollars each. I got to meet him and I became an admirer of his work. In fact, I got to travel with him to museums in Europe and so forth. So one day I saw a vendor sell his work for $200. And naturally I went to the vendor, I said, isn't this Mitch Tecle's work? He said, yes, but you're selling it for 200. And I know the original is appraised a million. He said, it's only a copy. I said, but isn't that a big gap from a million to 200? He said, it's just a copy. So I said, so when I try to be Oprah Winfrey, Halle Berry, Iman, I'm just $200. But when I try to be the person the creator made in all her essence, I'm a million dollar worth. So embrace who you are. Never compare yourself with someone else because their journey is different than yours. The tools that you're given is different than yours. Talking about Oprah Winfrey, Oprah when she first broke into the journalism business, Barbara Walters at the time was already big. So naturally, Oprah tried to pretend to be Barbara. And Barbara said, I mean, excuse me, Oprah said, I realize that I can be a better Oprah than I could be a pretend Barbara Walters. And sure enough, it's proved. Because out of the 25 years she hosted a daytime talk show, 17 of those years, she was number one. Why? Because she embraced who she was. You see, every one of us, I said, is special, right? And, if we, and also, if we embrace who we are, we have all the tools we need to complete our journey and to the best we can be.